What is up everyone? So, you guys are watching this. It is Tuesday after Christmas. Last time you guys saw me, it was Christmas time. So, I hope you guys had an amazing Christmas with your family, friends, or even if you were by yourself, I still hope you enjoyed your time, your peace and quiet, hopefully. And I hope you have some motivation to install those new car parts that I hope you got. Right, T-Bone? That's right. That's right. And I have to say it, we did do a small drop uh, last Friday of all the goodies right here. So you guys know we got a uh, limited edition t-shirt, we got some coasters, we got two skate decks for the FD and the coupe, and uh, well, we still have a few of those left, so if you wanna go and grab one for yourself, hop below, shop Gmail. But I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. Um, I definitely neglected ordering parts for the 8.6 the last couple weeks because I've been so damn busy. I'm just trying to get through the Florida trip and everything else that uh, I wasn't up on ordering everything I needed to, so we're at a little bit of a standstill with the 8.6, which is like the big project right now. Of course, the whole holiday time doesn't make things easy. But today, I figured what we do is a, not a showing off my cars, not showing off, but showing what we've been hoarding around the shop because I was inspired. A lot of guys are telling me to do like a whole car collection show off, kind of like LZ just did in his video, but we just kind of did the update video of all the cars and I feel like that was enough for now. I have Ant in the back or organizing, uh, not because he's working, but because last night he decided to come in and pull the drivetrain on his S13. I don't know where this came from, but he took the engine out and now we just have his shell right here and uh, he's getting ready for all the mods he wants to do over the winter time. So I told him if he wants to have a space to put all his parts, he's got to organize it because it's quite a mess, quite a mess back here. Well, it's much needed. Very needed. So it has his SR on the stand right here. This looks good and his goal is to refresh it this winter and get it looking right for his car. But when you take a car apart, that means you have parts everywhere. I've realized that I have a lot of stuff accumulating over the last couple of years. I don't want you guys to think that I'm showing anything off. I'm more embarrassed than anything. <laughs> um, there's a lot of things that I've kept over the years, just being a car guy and you tend to hoard stuff. Um, a lot of parts of which I keep around just because it ends up helping out a lot of my friends, right? We have a lot of like random small parts that I don't think I'll ever use, but it always ends up seeming to save the day for a lot of my homies that are building cars and I love that. I don't want to look like I'm showing things off at all because to be honest i think i'm more embarrassed than flashy if that makes sense because of the amount of <laughs> random stuff i've spent money on but uh i mean we'll give you a quick flash of this yeah it's bad it's it's really bad figured it'd be kind of funny to see what we have laying around here and honestly there's a bunch of things i forgot that i owned and we're gonna find out today so let's start in the back let's see what we got sumo can i put you to work yeah of course austin i'm coming for your job buddy <laughs> <laughs> let's see what we got we're gonna start on this shelf so I guess this top is gonna be ants. I was, I was, I walked there. I said, "What is all that stuff? I don't remember that being there." More parts. Ooh, ooh, it's ant <laughs> stuff. So this is ant stuff for his car. A lot of it he's gonna reuse. Probably just clean up, put back together. But uh, yeah, because I don't. I think you're gonna be doing more refreshing than rebuilding, right? Um, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> probably new clutch. New clutch, yeah. New clutch gaskets. Yeah, sealed. small stuff, right? Yeah, small stuff. But it's good. That's what's nice about the winter time is you actually have an excuse to like kind of make your stuff nice again. Yeah. Perks in the Northeast. So I'm gonna try and bang through it so it's not the longest video ever, but it's kind of funny because this is this is the stuff we put here recently, so I kind of know about this stuff, right? We have two rear diffusers for the Z32 since I own two Z32s and I haven't had time to install them. Just like one of those random things. You need them if you have a Z32. S14 spoiler. Oh, and a, and a roof wing. I didn't know I had this one. Look at that, Sumo. I think, is that a roof wing? I don't know what that is actually. Electric Jay-Z throttle body. I have a brand new set of Z3 coilovers for my mom's Z3, the purple one. But we ended up getting her a new Z3 that had coilovers on it. So now I just have these sitting here. <laughs> Stock K series head. Oh, this one's cool. This is a built, not shop SR head. I'm chilling. Ready. It's, it, it, it's ready. All the stuff from the 180. You guys know I have the white 180. These were all the parts that were in it. Most of it are junk. Yes. So I think we should honestly just suck it up and just throw things away for once. You should do like a flea market day. Just put all the shit that we don't want in the middle of the shop and just do it. Come yeah. here, bring your cash. <laughs> exactly. Uh, dude, just S chassis suspension components for no reason. A bunch of axles that are 80% blown, but I can't get the heart to throw them away. What is, what, what is this problem? I guess all car guys are I like think they this. call it hoarding? No. <laughs> no. <Not really>. I <laughs> might come that. in one day and be like an intervention from you guys, but <laughs> CTSV brakes. That, I, Look at the size of those. Chunky <laughs> boys, right? We are gonna put those on the uh, yellow S15. I decided I didn't like them for some reason. Whatever. What's in this box, actually? I don't know. Oil pan. That's a, oh, it's uh, Brian's stuff. A lot of this is Brian's This is all Brian's stuff. Brian, what are you doing with that stuff? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, S15 Spec R front bumper, probably the most expensive front bumper to exist. 
Jesus. Yeah, it's just chilling. Just hanging. Just hanging out there. Type X front bumper. Oh, USDM Cokey lip. Z. Skirt. Skirts. Oh man, there's more stuff back here. Oh no. Oh, we have this like engine transmission corner of the shop. <laughs> Let me see this thing. Everyone always asks about this, right? Just kind of shoved back here. Honestly, I'll call, this this whole back room is kind of the just get it out of the way cut a room. <laughs> NA1J, NA1J. These are from both my chasers. If anyone needs one, DM tone. <laughs> I don't know what to do with them. My pile of KAs, because one day I'm gonna build another KA. And it takes multiple cranks to find a good crank for a KA. Yes, it does. Yes. <laughs> don't be asking about these. This is the S15 notch top, my bad. This is the uh, the one that came out of the pewter car. This is an NA notch top. Uh, you like that? I do. We don't know anything about this SR. All we know is it's blown up. We just don't know how bad and blown up it is. Oh. So we need to take this thing apart and figure out what's wrong with it. So that might be a actual garbage motor. It, it, it could, it might be. We never even drained the oil. Does it have oil in it? It came from New Haven, man. Hmm. This is questionable SR. This is a not shop SR that came out of the 180, which is sick. We don't know if that one's good either because the car never really ran right. No. This is the fun one. So I mentioned that I had a built SR that we were potentially thinking about putting in the coupe, right? Not shop engine. So this is the built short block right here. So it's the bottom end with the piston and rods. That. And then the head was over there on the shelf. Mm -hmm. So we have a bunch of SR parts sitting around. I don't know who built this. So I don't really know if I trust them. It seems like every time I get a pre-built engine, there's always issues. So we might send this off to JP if you could find some time, to kind of go through it and check it all out. Um, and then we'll actually assemble it. So this is this is the motor we've been talking about for the coupe potentially. Oh yeah, maybe that's part of the coupe. I almost pulled the one John the coupe today. I was thinking about it, but I'm not I'm not ready to pull the plug yet. Uh, my buddy runs a shop and. Uh, they were moving shops and they actually had this SR for a customer. Customer basically bailed on the project, so they needed to sell the motor. They gave me a really good deal on it, and that's kind of why I have it. So, um, you guys know me, I'm the king of it was a good deal. <laughs> yes, you are. Yeah, it was a good deal. It was a good deal. I don't want to talk about that corner. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need that. So, this is like accumulation of I know there's an RB20 trans in there somewhere, a bunch of K and SR trans, which I will never sell. Don't ask me. I get DM'd a lot. Yeah, no. T Bone only took, T -bone already took a couple of them because he's blowing them up, but uh. I think there's like a couple good ones left in there. <laughs> like a couple years ago, like when you would blow your trans up, you just would like see which one of your friends had one and you would just go pick it up. And when they needed a trans, they would just text all their, you know, it was like the, the sisterhood of traveling SR trans. <laughs> <laughs> Coop parts, poor thing. Oh. This is the original exhaust off the Sonda. Alex from Stable Performance actually made this for me. Beautiful exhaust, but this is when it had the smaller turbo. It only could fit a two and a half inch exhaust. And it's so specific, I don't know what to do with it. Because it's made for a KA and a Civic that's real drive. Like, what else would this fit? But Alex made such a beautiful exhaust, I feel so guilty just like cutting it up. If anyone has a good idea for this, you let me know. Because I don't know what to do with it. And we have the entire factory wire harness from the BMW, which like you feel really guilty tossing. It's good scrap. You've got a real guilty conscience on you, you know? So bad. It's really bad. So bad. Well, you know, it's like, it's like, that could, someone might really need that. That's true. Why the, like, or it's a couple large pizzas. You think it's a couple large pizzas there? Yeah. If anyone needs a 92 <laughs> right hand drive factory harness for a E36, you let me know. Extra E30 door, extra coupe door, roof spoiler for I don't know what the heck. Uh, carbon. R34 hood. Why do you have that? Don't worry about it. Um, <laughs> bunch of just stock wheels. That's Once again, you're like, you don't want to like, what, what do you do with them? But you don't want to get rid of them. They're good rollers. They are. I don't know. You'll find there's a lot of just S chassis parts shoved throughout my entire shop. This shelf, which is supposed to be for shop supplies, is like just S chassis stuff. <laughs> just there's literally random. Everywhere. But what kind of shop would it be if you didn't have just parts just shoved everywhere? We have an R33 dash, chilling. Um, I bought that from a guy in Indiana. This is another corner of, I don't know where to put this bullshit, but it, I know where it is. You know, like those messes that yeah. like, you still have the Recaro Evo 9 MR seats from the mm. Supra. So when I get another Supra, that, that, they looked really good in there. Just I like that. When I get another Supra, I not you were if, when it's going to happen. When my mom has a spoiler for a Z3, we have to put that on uh, right here. This is an R34 GTT transmission. Oh, uh, manual swap right here. 
<laughs> and then on the shelf is too funny, bro, because like there's so much random stuff on this. Like, the, where do we put it though? There's always so much going on. There's a lot. Know? All right, it's so a lot. we'll get this one's really funny, right? I have a turbo manifold for the K for the Suzuki K truck. I found this online and I was like, maybe we'll turbo that thing one day. So I bought it. Look how <laughs> cute this thing is. It. It's adorable. Oh, it's a blow off valve. Couplers, pub adapters. This was, if you guys remember, my first jumper harness I ever made. I can't get myself to throw it away. Nah, that's that's a piece of history. I feel right like there. I want to like put it in epoxy, kind of like this. You know how this is like epoxy? Like imagine like this in an epoxy case, just on the wall. No one would get it, but I would love it. Jimmy's first jumper. This was for a MS3 to E36. What an idiot I was. They made plug and place for that car. <laughs> BMW mounts. Bunch of K series coil packs. Massive turbo. Oh, you like this? Look at the size of that thing. So my buddy actually gave this to me as like a gag gift. It's like an eBay uh, G40 turbo or something like that. We've used this for a lot of thumbnails. It's a good thumbnail piece. What else do we have there? A bunch of corner lights, R33 corner lights, stock SRECU, a bunch of seat rails for cars I don't own. The bash bar from my coupe that I crashed, I got crashed into. Yeah. I might just cut those off and hang them on the wall. I like that. This video is making you really lines. realize, huh? Yeah, but it's all like, like look, look at this. We have a pile of brake lines, which means we were trying, that means someone was trying to like piece something together. We have like extra lines from kits. You know how many times this has saved our ass? Just like with like clutch lines and like brake lines and stuff like that. Turbo feeds, all dash three. Okay, SR shifter. Why is that there? <laughs> Uh, this this place is bad. This is a bad spot, Sumo. Oh, man. oh my God! This this like an oh spoons here. Uh, this is like anything else where you have like you're in the middle of something and you got to store something. You're like, ah, oh, just throw it upstairs. And every once in a while, we try to move stuff around, and then you realize you have too much stuff to actually get organized. I think that started the the day you built this thing. I was uh, like, ah, check it upstairs. Spoon. Gotcha, really? Thank you. Aww. Oh. Oh my god, Sumo, what do we okay, do? Okay, you wouldn't catch me doing that. You don't like that? This is no. the bathroom ceiling, I'll fall through it. Thanks. Oh, what did I get myself into today? All right, so I actually cleared all this space. We can kind of take all this stuff and I just want to put it out, see what we have, see what we should actually throw away and uh, actually reorganize things so parts just aren't piled on top of each other. Sound good? Yeah, I mean, we kind of got to figure out what we have before we can do anything. Exactly. Things get a whole lot worse before they get better. So let's get to it. Brand new S2 Super bumper. That's what that is? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Anybody want a Super bumper? No. Nope. Need that. Not for sale? Not for sale. <gasps> oh, good catch. Oh, I have S14 door cards. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> This is the best. Maybe, should we time lapse it and then go over? I it? think we should. All right. Okay. I feel like we didn't even make a dent yet. All right, we still got some stuff. I'm gonna leave some stuff up here because not worth just bringing out and put back up. But all right, I'm gonna hang all the body panels down. Sound good? Yeah, start with the 86 stuff because we need that. Well, the funny thing is, we've been I've been handing them stuff for the last 30 minutes, and it looks like there is so much stuff on the ground. But Sumo, if you came up here, it still looks like we barely made a dent in it. You got a lot of shit, bro. It's not a bad thing. Yeah, so be it. I see a lot of good parts. Not a lot of, not too much junk though. No, I see a lot of gems. Good. So there's that fine line of hoarding where it's like still a hoarder. Still a hoarder, tastefully. Yeah. The funny thing is, like, what do I do? Go through part by part, but. I mean, we still have piles over here. And this is just all stuff like throughout projects, like taking off stock parts or um, 
buying things in a bundle or something like that when I bought parts. Catching deals. Catching deals. It's like, oh, what do I go through? What do I go through? This video's gonna be an hour long. Um, man. I love it. So right here is four brand new S13 pop-up fenders. So basically Nissan did like a whole, found, I don't know if they found them or produced a whole batch of them, but you can get them for like, uh, there was a little, you might be able to still get them, but there was a while where like, there was like a year where, where you can get them. And so I bought four since I have two hatches and all four fenders are pretty junk. Having mint pop-up fenders makes the whole entire front end awesome. Yeah. 33 headlights, we have wire harnesses from so many things. It's all eight, six stuff. And that's all the stock interior, which we're, not using. we're gonna put in the dash and that's probably it. But it's like, what do I do with it? Cause I do plan on getting another 86 one day, like a perfect street car 86. No, it's worth saving. It's not, we're not tossing anything. What's this? 2J stuff from the Supra. Okay. See? I'm gonna need that. <laughs> but there's so much random stuff. I got an S15 uh, dash in center console, S15 uh, fogs, just a bunch of piping. Still have these meshes that I'll build one day. It's <laughs> a lot of, oh, S13 on crack dash. Love that. A couple S15 stock front bumpers. This is what I wouldn't expect in a fucking Nissan guy's corded attic. Yeah. My buddy Edmund actually gave me that when I was building the S14. Casey. So we're gonna pass that love on to Donnie. Donnie needs this because. See, that's why I like having oh, these parts. Donnie? <laughs> oh, he know, everyone knows he's gonna case swap it one day. I, but we found him in a so we're, we're gonna force him into case swapping it. That's what's sick. Like a lot of these parts, like, I get to keep around, and then like when my homie needs them, like just pass the deals along. It doesn't really, you know, I throw it up top, forget about it. So it's a bunch of stock S13 stuff, stock glove boxes, stock, yeah, you know, bunch of AC stuff. I'm so happy I kept this stuff now because it's so hard to get. Got a brand new drop bearing over here. Random stuff, bunch of stock ECUs and stuff. It's been pretty pick through in the last couple years, but I've, I used to have so I used to have even more. Catch can, electric power steering pumps. Look how cute this is, the 8.6 center console. So tiny. <laughs> Jay-Z front sump, rear sump. Partial tray for a hatch. I mean, there's no like really big money items here. Like there's nothing that's like, oh my God, I can't believe you had that. It's just all like, that'd be really nice to have one day. You know? I'm gonna need that one day. I'm gonna need, I'm gonna, I'm gonna or I have a friend that is gonna need that one day. So if you got the room for it, so be it. If you just have, oh my God, I'm just breaking stuff. If it's just junk set on shelves, get rid of it. Give yourself some room. Oh, these are cool. These are really cool. I forgot I had these. 300 ZX light up louvers. These are so oh, rare. Sick. I forgot I had these. That's crazy. Forgot that I actually have this horn blaster uh, train horn kit. They were actually awesome enough to send me this like, Whoa! what? We're putting that on. <laughs> yeah, you like that? <laughs> so they actually sent me this kit when we were doing all the mini truck stuff and we just never found the moment to actually install it. And I feel horrible because they I'll sent me this on kit. Dirty on the Duramax. Should we put this on the Duramax? I can't be that guy. They sent this to us and we never got to do a video on it. And I, uh, if you guys somehow are watching this, I apologize to the moon and back. Uh, I hate being that guy, but uh, We'll install it on something. We'll find something quirky to put this on. I spy something which is kind of funny. So right here, do you guys recognize this color? Right here, check it out. So this is off Adam's hatch actually. That is the OEM rear garnish underneath the rear taillights since he went, the car came type X taillights which uses a different garnish and the car came with the factory one too which is right here. I've just had it for years, just sitting, which is really funny. So this is off Adam's cream car. And that's the original cream, because the car's been painted a couple times, but that is that is it. Just a funny piece to have. All right, let's dig a little bit more up here, and then we'll go down there and just kind of talk about what the heck we took off the loft for now. A lot of shit down there. <laughs> Hang stuff from the ceiling. You got no room. <laughs> Look at all this stuff. Yeah. I'm assuming these are subframe bushings. Get some plywood. Look. Some plywood down here. 240. Uh, oh, yeah. Looks like I know the brand new motor mounts of it. I just saw oh, that. Motor mounts? Yeah, brand new. This Bring those. We actually need those. SR swaps. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> this is good stuff. I don't know what you're going to do with the stuff that you bring down there when you're done with it, though. Clean it. Put it back up here. Oh. Hey, Ann, can you pass us the broom? So we're making great progress. <laughs> You think you you know, you do a lot, and you're like, yeah, there's not much of a chunk down there. This is getting into, you know, already know. This is a lot of work. Like dumb like, oh my god! But like RV coils, like, will I ever need these? Will Absolutely not. Homie, ever need these? You know, it's like hard. Okay. That's this type of thing. If you need it, you buy it. 
you know, but it's also one of the things where my friends have a misfire in his car. It's like, oh, just go upstairs. We have something to say. How many times have we gone upstairs and saved someone's ass oh, here? More than I could think of. Exactly. Remember. So. Throw it in a box. That, that's the Throw problem. It in a box. Throw it in a box. Throw it upstairs. <laughs> here we go. That's there for the next two years. Well, from down here, it looks like we did nothing up there, but from up there, it looks noticeable. Ugh. All right, so let's check out what we have down here. So this one's exciting because this is what we have for the 8.6 that I think we showed a long time ago, but it hasn't been mentioned in a long time. So first we have the 8.6 dash, which is somehow not cracked. It has a little blemish right there, but it's not cracked, which a, a black uncracked dash from 8.6 is extremely rare. So that's a pretty cool, pretty cool find. Um, on top of that, we have a TRD style spoiler for the 86, which is like my favorite thing for the hatch. It's like every 86 hatch has a spoiler, but there's a reason why yeah. it looks sick as shit. So I'm happy we have it. On top of that, we do have a kit for the 86, but it is Duraflex fiberglass from probably 2012. I don't know. It is rigid. It's heavy. But... It's so like. I haven't heard fiberglass like that in a long time. Most fiberglass is like pretty flexible and malleable. This is like. You would think it's made of wood, but I've had a really hard time trying to find a kit for the 86. Even the OEM bumpers are so much money for these damn cars. Luckily, Spoon is fairly good with fiberglass, but we haven't mocked it up yet. Our goal this week is to actually mock this thing up so it's perfect timing uh, and see if it's usable. If it's usable, I want to use it. We're going to get this thing off the lift this week. Uh, my buddy has wheels, so we're going to go grab, put them on the ground, and uh, yeah, I think we can get the kit mocked up on it. And if it's off the lift, we can do the wiring. That'll be a huge, huge, huge step of the process. Even the side skirts right here are pretty cool. So hopefully, hopefully that all fits. It's, it's been sitting a little crooked for a while. A little, a little heat to take care of that. But look how sick that'll look on there. So hopefully we could, hopefully that'll pan out. We'll find out this week. A little heat. And then we have the bumpers over here, which is not really anything exciting, right? We have the oh, factory. Half of them. What was that? It's only half of them. True, there's a bunch of S15 bumpers up there. But um, FD, you guys remember that? This is an S2 brand new bumper for the Supra. You can still buy them new. Uh, they, it was supposed to be for the Supra, but you guys know. Uh, we're, we're gonna get another one eventually. Another Supra bumper I got from a friend. This is the original bumper from the Crash Zanke. Probably just gonna throw this away. I love seeing it up there because it's just like a really nope. good memory. Cut it up cost, so you already got the hood still. All right, we'll keep the hood. Uh, this is actually the original bumper for the black S15, because as of right now, it has a aftermarket uh, aero bar on it. I kind of want to go back to the OEM Spec S uh, front bumper and put a lip on it, just because then every car will look different, you know? Uh, it'll be cool, I don't know, whatever. Then I have a brand new S14 Koki front bumper right here that I plan to put on the uh, K-Series S14, just because the bumper on there now is like super warped and deformed. So uh, you can still buy these new. So I bought it a while ago. And then the stock rear bumper, which... <sighs> is it worth getting rid of? Is it worth keeping? I don't know. Is the factory S14 rear bumper worth anything? I don't know, but I like having it. So this one could stay. Sound good? I didn't get anything you said. Good. These are the E30 fenders from when it got hit in the front. Honestly, they're repairable, which is super good because OEM fenders are really hard to get for the cars because they all rust out. So we're keeping those. This is the headliner for the 86, which we probably will sell because I don't think I'm going to run it. And I feel like this is worth a decent money. Hatch, non sunroof headliner. Bunch of OEM bumper foams. Uh, what's in here? Bracket for a super bumper. Uh, S14 door cards, sick. Don't ask me for those. That's a random door card for my E36, right hand drive door card. It's kind of junk. I don't know. Trash. Trash, all right. Uh, random garnishes. This hey. is a Don Musk overfender kit for the E36. Forgot I had that. Underneath here is a brand new set of NB2 side skirts. <coughs> I bought these for Steph years ago. 
Yeah, it's dusty. And then we realized that we really want to get NB1 side skirts for her car. So if anyone is willing to trade me NB1 side skirts for ND2, NB2 side skirts, let me know. I would love that. It'd be really cool. Let me know. S15 Spec R side skirts. These were originally for the Peter car. Uh, these are E30 side skirts, which we're going to put on because it really needs it. And then these are like S14 Koki aftermarket side skirts. They fit pretty well, but they're just fiberglass. They're not OEM. Hey, Paul. <laughs> then I have an assortment of front lips. Uh... I do this thing where a front lip will, I'll get a front lip just to see if it'll fit on a random bumper and they won't, so I'll just hold on to it forever. Um, an S15 metal front fender, a lot of S15 parts. Uh, S15 over fenders for the front, because one day I will build a drifty S15. FD S15. And these are actually really, really, really nice. I don't even know what brand they are. And then this is our pipe and coupler bin, which we've been meaning to organize for the longest time. This has just been up top forever, and every time we need a coupler or, or a, a, a pipe, just like run upstairs and dig around. So now we'll actually be able to organize this because uh, it always seems to come in handy. And then my work boxes, there's nothing in them. It's just really like having them because they looked cool up there. Um, but I guess, honestly, there's no reason to keep those things. Nope, we need the space. <sighs> boxes. Hey, what? get rid of the boxes. Yep. You've got more room for car parts. Okay, see? I like your attitude. I forgot I had these two right here. I want to show you guys these because they're, they're kind of cool. So. These are actually eyelids for an S15, which I never, I would never assume S15 needs them because they already have such aggressive headlight, but they still look pretty cool. So T1, hold this for me. 15 headlight. S15 with eyelid headlight. It's pretty cool, right? This is for like when I build a kitted like D1 style S15. That's what I want, like a D1 drift S15, like big kit over fenders, everything one day when that all lines, right? And that's a cool part for, I don't know. Yeah. I think it's dope. Hey, hey, I got a cheap S15 shot. Yeah. Yeah. All right. It's looking pretty good up here. It's a lot of room. So I think what we're gonna do is we're, we're gonna reinforce the bathroom because right now this is all like, the framing will support a lot of weight as long as we make a kind of pedestal for it like that. So we could actually put more stuff on here. It'll extend the wall, so that's super easy. Because if we just do more rows of shells, we're good. And then the big cheat code is since we have so many bumpers and lips and whatever, um, I have these L brackets I got from Home Depot forever ago, just like this. And I think we're gonna do those up around the entire wall. We have a lot of bumpers and, and lips and garnishes and they all kind of will just stack on there. Last time I put a couple up, but I didn't anchor them because I was in such a rush that like every couple months you would just hear another set of bumpers just fall down. So. You wouldn't even think about it. No. Be just go on about your day. That's you knew it. exactly what it was. Just go on about what your day. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> what, like, what are you supposed to do at that point? You just you just let it eat. Ah, oh, fuck it. <laughs> so there's a lot of stuff we got to go through. Um, we're starting to make a pile of things that we'll probably sell. We have a lot of work ahead of us about reorganizing. But for now, just to finish off the video, I think, because I teased it, I'll show off the office. The office is a whole other mess and video in itself. That's, yeah, that's going to be a whole other couple of days. That's, uh, yeah, that one's a different project. There's a lot of gems in there though. Those are where... There's some cool stuff in there. That's where all the cool stuff is. I don't I don't think I have like anything like wow. No, you do. You just don't give yourself credit because not everybody has what you have. <laughs> I'm very grateful for what I have, but um, I'll be Tom modest. I'll be modest there. with it. Isn't there a brand new hood in there? Yeah. S15 hood. Okay, let's go look in the office, okay? This is the part where the video gets a little toxic. <laughs> just want to say... I'm not trying to show anything off. If anything, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm a little embarrassed by how much- Bad habits. Bad habits, bad. whatever. Ooh. We all have our, our curses, right? I don't help them either, so. Yeah, all right. This is bad, dude. All right. I'm usually a pretty clean person, but this room is the, throw it in the room. When the fuck did you get those teas? <laughs> We've had those. Yes, exactly. So, dude, where do we begin? At least the wall is somewhat organized with all mm, the- It PDFs. was. Look, there's- Minerva's back there. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of parts. The first things I see is what's cool. We have a S13 Type X wing. Yep. OEM Koki spoiler and OEM arrow wing for an S15. Mm, sick. Talk. Sick. Love that. All right. This is, this is bad. I don't, want, I don't even want to show this stuff. Uh, <laughs> Nardi Vertex collab wheel. Love that. That one's going to the, the yellow 15 probably. Um, TEs. Blitz Techno Speeds, Blitz O3s. I am a sucker for these like tote things. DJ actually got me an up garage one in Japan. So DJ, thank you so much. I really appreciate that one. That was cool. I have a couple of them like all oh, the Nismo, the Vertex, oh, the different Vertex ones. Mm -hmm. 
I got a wall of, of just like trinkets. I'm a big trinket guy. Big trinket guy. I mean, look at look at the table. It's bad. It's bad. Just give me. This makes me look okay. This makes me look like a hoarder. This is a fucking mess. I'm a clean. I, no, and, I'm a clean person. That was yeah. for me. Very clean person. This is just like a. This is a good hoarder. Um, couple different sets of Ganondors. Um, Those brown ones. Those are for a Supra. I know. Yeah, they're 33 Supra, 32, 32, and. S 350Z. A 86. Oh, and 350Z. Somewhere. Yeah. Oh, those are 350Z ones. The 86 ones are. Where are those? It's just like small stuff. Like if you know, you know. Those are hot. The 5050 lights for yeah. the Sylvia. Yeah. Fire. You're just gonna like walk past this, like. Couple blitz. Couple. I've had some blitz for a long time. I know. There's okay. Still. There's a lot of. Oh, there's a lot of stuff. All right. What else is like cool? These are brand new in box triple projectors. Duels. They're, they're, duels. These are duels. I thought they were du triples. Pretty sure they're triples. Yeah. Nissanparts.cc actually gifted these to me Pull a really long out. time ago, so I'm not pulling these things. I don't want to crack the seal. Mm. Um, gifted these to me a really long time ago, and uh, I can't thank them enough for that because this is this is really cool. Um, I know there's quite a few, you know you know there's definitely some boxes left over at brand new Sylvia headlights, but to be able to have one my my own is is pretty gangster. So oh these are cool. Heck one for an E30. Those are yeah those are clear 33 lights. Oh this one's cool too. Yeah. Brand new. Brand new in box. S15 Nismo cluster. So if you guys know, so the crazy thing about these is, this was one of the first pieces I bought for my pewter car. When I first bought my pewter S15, I went online, I was like, what can I buy, what can I buy, you know? And I bought this, it was brand new, it was like $480, which is a lot of money back, like, you know, it's a lot of money. And then they discontinued them very short after. I didn't realize it. And then during COVID, these things got up to like four grand. Mm -hmm. Crazy. They, I think they're still high price. They're still high price. I think Nissan uh, released an, another batch of these. And so they dropped a little bit, but I just seen at one point that cluster was so much money. And I was sitting there, I was like, <laughs> what do I do with this thing? You know, do I fucking sell it or do I put it in something? But um, I have a lot of new parts, which is cool. A lot of new S15 parts. Uh, trim pieces. My buddy Dylan down at Nismo Parts Plug, he um, sources a lot of the OEM Nissan stuff for like the desirable cars, like the 34s, 33s, you know, the Skylines, the 240s and everything. Mm. And he's toxic <laughs> in the best way. Every time he he finds a cool part that like we can't believe they still make, he'd call me up like, yo, I'll put it off to the side for you. So a lot of brand new um, Nissan parts. So there's a set of brand new S15 fenders, brand new S15 trunk, brand new S15 hood, um, brand new S15 taillights. Because only oh. tail taillights are the best. Somebody got a cheap S15 show. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but it was like one of those things. A lot of these parts were di getting discontinued as of late. So it was kind of like, hey, they're, they're going to discontinue this part. Do you want it? And I was yeah. just like, mm, of course. So I know future on the road, I will have more S15s. And like one day. Future Jim will thank you. Future Jim will thank you. Because they really like. They really weren't that expensive in the grand scheme of things. They were probably cheaper than what I can get used parts for, which is like pretty crazy to think about at the time. A couple different, I think I have a couple different sets of brick headlights. So these are all like kind of broken. Two sets of drift spec um, brick headlights. So like they're kind of fucked up in a certain way, but enough that on a drift car, it's fine. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You can even use that one if you want, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, literally this one relines. <laughs> oh, I was so heartbroken. I bought, I wanted a perfect set of double projectors because they're my favorite. Doubles are my favorite, mm. honestly. I think they're cooler than bricks. But I ordered a set, or I found a set. Man, I was so happy, and then they came in the mail, smashed, heartbroken. Mm. So, if anyone has a USDM driver's driver side, side double projector, or just the glass, please let me know. Eh, it got a little damaged up here too. Mm. I got a bunch a of stock S15 wheels, just because a bunch of S15s. We have the Super Spec TEs over there, which is cool. We bought, mm. I bought those when I was like gung ho about. I was, I, I was like, I'm getting a Super. There's no, there's no ifs ands or buts, and then. Uh, those were like the last set of super spec TEs for sale, like ever. And I got them, so. And then you bought a 15. But I bought an S15 instead. <laughs> so, whatever. Now when I buy a super, I'm already ahead of the curve. I got the TEs, I got the Ganadors, I got the bucket seats, I got the, the turbo diff. Toxicity. Toxicity. I, I'm just, mm. I'm helping out future Jim. Like we're just, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's just like random stuff everywhere. This is always like my corner, like. What mirrors are these? Those are USDM M3 mirrors. Oh, nice. Yeah. Just a lot of just random new. A lot of these, I don't really know what's in them. To be honest, I don't either. I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember. I'd love to go through them. I have a couple of JDM jumpsuits. Mm-hmm. 
they're usually hung up, but then all my friends want to try them on. They kind of get <laughs> thrown off to the side. <laughs> Brian Priest gifted me uh, his model car, which was pretty cool, and he signed it for me. I thought that was pretty dope. I have an abundance of like JDM magazines and like. I gotta organize all the stuff like I can actually like, yeah. see it and everything, but this is like my man cave of bullshit that is just kind of like a. Oh, this is sick. You like that? The Nismo Light of Sign? So that's not a real one. A real one is worth like. Buko. Buko box. <laughs> that one. Uh, that's for the man cave of the house. That's for the man cave, yeah. So like this has been like my room of like when I finally get the. the when I could finally get a man cave at the house, like this is where it's gonna slowly bleed off of. And uh, we're getting there. That's a big update we gotta talk about, which is really cool. But uh, right now it's just a closet of just stuff everywhere. My degree, you like that? <laughs> <laughs> now that was, this is probably the most expensive thing in here. This stupid. <laughs> it's just cool. It's just a lot of like, I don't know, random stuff everywhere. Is that the cool? Which one? Wow. Oh, right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of looks like how it looks now. Yeah. That was also the coop spoon. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. It'll be back to that. Exactly. Yeah. Soon. Oh, this one. I love this thing. I got to hang this up. This was our Link ECU top dealers, the Golden Fury. I hope we get one this year. This is a uh, top five Link dealers in the US. Get these. Old trophy. Just stuff I just want to hang up on the wall, but at what point do you just stop hanging stuff up on the wall because you got so much stuff? Nah, save it for the man cave. Save it for the man cave, right? Skipped over that. Come on. Oh, the, the, the play button? You skip over that. Oh, the play button. Yeah. Yeah, it mixes in. There's so much like random little stuff I could dig through, but the video will end up being so freaking long. And, uh, if you know, you know. What was it? <laughs> the original SR cover? Yes. Yeah, that's cool. So that'll be going back on soon. So this is this video is probably super long, and if you made it this far in the video, I appreciate you guys big time. But I have shown you a glimpse of my I don't know. Any car guy is like this. I, t I give me any car guy that doesn't have a pile. It's a different level. Everyone has their own level. Everyone has their own level. Everyone has their pile. Even if it's just a top of your toolbox full of random stuff, everyone's got that. We do a lot, and we have acquired quite a bit, which has been it's been pretty cool. So uh, we're gonna address what we should keep. We're gonna be mindful of that. I'm gonna text a few homies that might need some stuff, so we can get rid of it real quick. I'll post up a pile of stuff for sale. We don't have too much stuff, but I'll post that up for sale probably on my Instagram soon. And besides that. We've got some work to do. So I have to say it once again, guys, if you haven't, hop low, shop Jimmy O, grab yourself one of the skate decks or any other goodies that are on the website right now. And uh, before they're all gone and uh, yeah, I'm brain dead. You guys know the deal? Like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned for more content and Spoon. Have a good night.